Cool. Take it. Take it. Pull. Where's the Logan cam? Coming soon. Hashtag. I work in and around mangroves each day at work in Australia. Why did you mention them? I don't know. I just thought of mangroves. What a coincidence. Yes, my dog is bilingual. He understands food and play. Bilingual. Yeah, someone said uh, it's been found that if you bestow hope on someone, they can be seen in the fog of war. The hat. What a common bug, right? You would you would expect them to know, but oh well, it's PTR. I'm sure it'll be fixed by the real. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. <gasps> a worthwhile endeavor. Uh, they've got some targets who are interesting to blind I suppose I'll get righteous assault and I get the blind greetings friend WHAAA18 no demonic skin D it's been a fun seven months grubster I'm glad you think so dude thank you very much he's not a crow he's a raven oh Okay. There is a demonic skin, I just don't have it. <coughs> Verily so. It's not on sale yet, yeah. Plus I'm playing the NA uh, version of Ariel. No, my livers are working fine. No jaundice. I just changed my lighting, uh, Sinister Granny. Why are people afraid to use the flame strike build? I would. I, I don't understand the question. Verily so. Uh, I'll get Majestic Span again. I think it would be a good time to get the Siege Count. That's why I told uh, Sonya. He's in my team. It's not like I'm asking someone uh, that I randomly met on Quick Match. I'm not ordering around someone on quick match. He asked to join the team. We are a five man party. So I think we can at least agree on what camps to get, isn't it? Yes. 
<laughs> they should be focusing me more, I feel like. Birdie with the crown, yeah. Nice. Kel has a build for Flame Strike, but few pick those. Why? Um, the Flame Strike build right now is consisting of Convection, which is a uh, bonus damage from Quest, which is a difficult quest to complete. It also gives up ability power or mana in return. Flame Strike is a poke build, which is heavily reliant on mana. All poke builds do need mana, so you give up either Mana Addict, which also has Burst Protect with the shield, or you give up the consistent self-healing with Fell uh, Infusion. So basically, the Flame Strike build has heavy competition. That that's the main uh, problem at level one. So if you don't take Convection, you give up a lot of the damage. Okay, let's say you give it up. The next one used to be Sun King Fury, which is super, super much single target damage. And you and you take a Flame Strike that as soon as you're playing against a good player, they will know where the second Flame Strike comes. So why would you... Uh, I mean, it doesn't seem as good against something that you have control over. This is why Flame Strike build saw less use. But I think we'll see more of it now. It's probably gonna be the main build, if I had to guess. With the level 20 flame strike. Whipped, Karazim. Uh, reduce the cooldown of Ray of Heaven. Man, Medivh and Ari are real nice together. Emphatic Link, really good on Sonya. <laughs> yeah, I'll get em em sorry, empathic, not emphatic. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna say that one wrong forever. Yeah, this hero is really good in chokes, both for the opponent and for yourself. And really good sustain heal as well. All you need is to take damage and then you can heal. If Sonya takes damage, we can heal the whole team. It's kind of like Orc Spirit Link. Wow, nice. He had the port already, but he couldn't use it on time. This time I'll get Crystal Aegis again. Yeah, but I feel like he was hiding build or slow to change uh, talent tree, uh, Draconi. I just got 163 hope from uh, the Gorge. When he came out, he took the damage. Nice. Enemy team is cursed, which means I should go take the XP in the middle. Mm. Ariel, just to reiterate about her laning, the way that her trait uh, works, I feel like she heavily benefits from not being a solo laner. Like, she can do it, but she will lack hope. Nice. It's much better for her to be at least in a duo lane, possibly more. Gul'dan's ability power now affects his healing above. Nice, because that was a that was a bug that I didn't even know about for a while. And so the curse ends. What happens when I stasis after a gorge? I'm gonna try it. My team has good movement. He will. 
<laughs> Spit it out. Nice. Well, it makes sense. It's just like with uh, some other stasis effects that I forgot what they're called. It's a car, is it? Would you ever try eating rabbit? A bit of a weird and uh, bit of a weird question, but I have eaten rabbit. I won't eat my pet rabbits though. I love it to get whip kills. I'll get the blind again. Or converging. Now let's get converging force this time, and we'll pay a little bit more attention to the effect of it. He won't come near enough to heal. Some uh, quality Karazim there. This is your doing, I assume. Yeah, but it would change your playstyle. Someone said that uh, you seem to reach full hull pretty easily. I, by the way, don't agree with that. But let's say if it's true. He says the quest it would seem very worth it. And But keep in mind that the quest stimulates you to go full max energy every time. And it gets harder and harder to get an additional quest. Because uh, you have higher max energy, so it takes longer to get there. But it also changes your playstyle. Like, you would not do as many small heals. So it has some limiting factors, Reservoir of Hope. Boink. Your killing spree is over. Have you started your career in 2004? Because your description says 12 years. Yes, correct. 2016 minus 12. Yes, 2004. Or you could say 13 years, 2003. But that's kind of a tipping point. It's pretty troll to uh, remove the gorge target every time with uh, Crystal Aegis. See that knock, that knock a little bit. Pretty interesting. I don't see the effect every time. <laughs> wow. Shall we see who gathers enough to thank you? Lots of funny movement effects. Actually, there's a small anti synergy. Oops. I've made much bigger sacrifices than this. Let my blessing be your shield. There's a small anti-synergy with Medivh and the level 7 Empathic Link. This Sylvanas really wants to get me. He prevents the target from taking damage with Force of Will. 
Unless it still works. Did you see that displacement? Unless it still works. Even though force of will blocks all damage, empathic, empathic link still works. Who knows? Let's see that displacement. Haha. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Get your ass back in here. Oops. Nice. Oh yes, quest. Attack speed. Ability power. Or maximum energy. Let's get ability power for Gul'dan. Put a crown on his head. <laughs> 71,000 healing so far, not bad. She's fun. I didn't know where it would go. You ever get that feeling of not knowing where a portal will go? Control for a bit. Oh. I'm gonna go get the fountain. We got two versus two tributes, so pretty exciting climax coming soon where we fight over the next tribute. Oh, look at Sonya. Oh my god, Sonya really stacks. My force of hope. I mean, my, my uh, W, my hope. And then I threw it all away for a tiny heal. That's something you can ill afford to do. Okay. Oh, never mind. Ah, he took it too. Nice, good job, Medif. Wrong one, I meant to target Sonia. Wow. So fun. And really good healing too. They do have the boss. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Dude, I could have finished him no matter what. <laughs> Very brave. Ah, 
Ah. Let's get the flight again. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yes, always waste your ult before certain isolated death. We should get keep before boss. <laughs> if it must be. This is safe, right? Wherever I need it. This is safe. <laughs> or maybe not. You can just portal in and kill him. Ah. Uh. Deep, you got. <laughs> oh wow! I should have used the portal though. I had to do it the hard way. Geronimo! GG well played. Nice. Oh, the plays that Medivh and Oreo can make. I'm looking forward to it already in the pro scene and in ladder. Is fly completely global? No, it's like one third of a map. Like Falstad. Do you think Crystal Aegis is life saving enough to finally have a more diverse support meta in tournaments besides Karazim, Uther, Rhaegar? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure, but I think so. So the dream team is Tyriel, Ariel, Medivh, and Cho'Gal with 50% HP Tyriel talent. I don't know if that one were... Oh, you mean... <laughs> you mean all the protection? Yeah, that's funny. Does the crown on Gul'dan and Lifetap give hope with em empath empath empathic link? I think that's the hardest word in any talent ever that there has ever been for me. Empathic. Do you want, don't you want to upload this match? I want to hear what you said about my hooks. Well, they were very good. Good hooks. I don't know how much I talked about it. But. Uh, cool. Uh, my teammates played as if they played with Karazim. They kept grouping up for heals. So it was really good. 1000 AoE heal, no mana, 4 seconds. Seems balanced. <laughs> when you put it that way, Jakoto. Can you heal them while they're in the crystal? Uh, no, because uh, that's called stasis. And you can't heal through any kinds of stasis, including Void Prison. 
uh, having played more, initially I thought she cannot solo support, but having played more, I think she can. Her numbers are better than Taronda for solo support. It just works a bit differently. The fact that Taronda is extremely mana hungry, and Ariel doesn't need mana, it's all about your playstyle and your allied heroes then. What do you think about the lack of cleanse? Don't you think it makes her impossible to solo support? Well, in theory, Uther has double cleanse with Divine Shield and cleanse. Others have one, and she has one with her alt, Crystal A Aegis. That's a cleanse. 60 second could be used twice in a long brawl, but generally it's a one-time use. And then she lacks her equivalent healing out compared to other supports. In fact, I think Ariel solo support will feel most like Karazim solo support, who goes seven-sided strike. Because Karazim has a, has a dash, which does a small damage. It, he has a, the E punches, which is damage, and then he has a W with heal. She's the same way, double damage with utility and a W heal. And then he goes seven-sided and she goes Crystal Aegis, which can save themselves in a kind of way. Um, and then um, at level 13, 16, 20, also similar utility. Now, Karazim gets a lot of bonus heal at 16, so can she with Reservoir of Hope. I feel like she is fairly similar to 7-sided solo support Karazim. So that game that we just finished 5 minutes ago, that one will be on YouTube. So Donners and uh, the Stitches and everyone, you made it. You made it in life. You're on TV now. <laughs> I think Resurrect is not worthless, but it's a 5% or less niche pick. Converging Force, does it do two times damage if you hit him a little to the side? As was ah, okay, I understand. Let me try that. Choose a talent. A gift from the high heavens. Bonus damage. Yes. Yes, it does, Sonic Storm. That's a great question. So if you push someone into the inner circle within a very short distance of them not being in it, and then they go into it, yes, you get the bonus damage from Sacred Sweep. Sonic Storm 21. Well done.